Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today what I'm going to run through is a cleaning video. This is going to be a pretty basic video, but believe it or not this is one question I get asked a lot on my channel, is how I go about cleaning my firearms. So guys keep in mind there's several different ways that uh, people will clean their firearms and other people will swear by different products completely different to what I'm using. However, this is something that I've been using ever since I was a kid, basically, and products that I absolutely swear by. Now, keep in mind, I'll always review new products, but I always come back to my time-tested method in cleaning my firearms. So let me go ahead and run through the different products that I use. The first here is G96. Now, this is about $25 a uh, can. Next here is a foaming bore cleaner from Gunslick Pro. This is a little bit more expensive, around about $32 a large can. You'll need some uh, cleaning patches. Now as you can see here, I've got the correct calibre here, 1.7 to 22 calibre rimfire. So I'm cleaning a 1.7 WSM rifle, so naturally I'm going to need 1.7 cleaning patches. Just a standard chucks cloth, nothing fancy. A brass brush for 1.7 caliber, a 1.7 caliber jag, a quality one piece cleaning rod. I don't like the um, three piece or multiple piece cleaning rods because I don't find them as strong as a one piece rod. Cleaning tools here from gunsmithertools.com. Now they're great because they've got different uh, pointed edges and wire bristles at the back there for cleaning carbon out. And last of all, a good set of safety glasses. Okay guys, so there's a couple of different areas that I like to concentrate on when I'm cleaning a firearm. Doesn't matter whether it's a shotgun or a pistol or a rifle, I pretty much use the same principle. So with the rifle here we're going to concentrate naturally on the chamber and the breech area, the crown of the barrel, the internal of the barrel, the bolt, and then naturally just the overall rifle that's presentation. So the first thing I'll start with guys is the foaming bore cleaner. Now you can see it's got a right angle attachment on it and usually that's for putting inside the chamber and squirting it along the barrel. A little bit harder if you've got especially you know, a 1.7 calibre. Um, you might not be able to get in there even with the smaller calibres like 22 Hornet and stuff like that. So what I usually do is I'll come around to the muzzle here and then I'll actually, I guess in an unconventional way, just spray it back down the barrel from there to achieve the same objective. So you can just wipe the excess off with the chucks white. But if you have a look down here into the chamber, you can see where it's sort of uh, leaking out. So you know you've got the entire uh, part of the barrel done. So what you need to do now is just let it set for about 20 minutes. So what it does, it'll actually dissolve. And if you've got any uh, copper fouling, it'll turn blue. But just gunk in general, I find that it just loosens up really nicely. So we'll just let that sit now for 20 minutes. Now that the 20 minutes is up, I just attach the brass brush to the cleaning rod and put it through the barrel once. As you'll see there's still a little bit of foam that's come out the end but you'll see there's a lot of carbon and dirt built up in general on it. So I just undo the brass uh, brush You can actually uh, clean these in a little bit of uh, turps or something just to get the carbon and stuff off them. Pull the uh, rod through and then just give it a wipe down a clean. Then attach the jag. Then we take a cleaning patch, just put it over the end of the jag and then we push it through going from the chamber to the muzzle. Don't push back from the muzzle to the chamber because you'll push all the garbage back into your chamber which you don't want. Look at all that dirt. So 
So we just repeat the process until the patch comes out clean. So as you can see guys, I've used six patches and the last one has taken out the last bit of carbon in the barrel. So at the end of the muzzle, I always just give it a wipe, going clockwise, anti-clockwise. And as you can see there, it just removes the last bit of carbon. So with the G96 now, I like to give a uh, good spray of this down the bore of the barrel. So it's pretty easy, I mean you can just start from the, the chamber end here or seeing we're on a bit of a slope with the bipod, it doesn't really matter. We can just spray it from the muzzle. Okay, give it a good hit. Because this G96 really does clean, lubricate and protect all in one. So you could actually use it as your basic cleaner and then spray it on afterwards to lubricate. However, I just like to use that foam bore cleaner just to get the initial dirt and grime out of the barrel. So we just let that sit only for a minute or two just so it just goes through the actual uh, rifling of the barrel. And then once um, that's done, all we do is just patch it out once and then the residue of the G96 in the rifling just lubricates and protects that barrel. So all we do now is just patch it out. You'll see a fair bit of G96 come out of the other end. Some of you guys will probably go, whoa, that's way too much. Yeah, it probably is, but my motto is you can never have enough G96. <laughs> okay, so when we clean the bolt, guys, what I like to concentrate on, and this is where I use the gunsmither tool, is just in here, you seem to get a lot of carbon build up and under the extractor as well, okay? So you can't really see too much there, but it is there. Okay, so all I need to do is just get the um, chucks wipe, just wipe the carbon off, scrape it out from under there, if you get anything that's a little bit stubborn, just use the wire end and it just loosens it up. And then all we need to do is just wipe it clean. Okay, so you can see the carbon just coming off there on the uh, chucks wipe. Let's give the bolt an overall wipe down. And then using the G96, I just like to put a fine film. Let's get a little bit of a wipe down. And that'll help smooth up the action too. Okay. Now the magazine, this one's pretty clean, okay. It's not really dirty, but magazines are a big thing that you need to keep clean, especially for a semi-automatic firearm because that's where you're going to get your real jams and problems if you just uh, neglect them. So what we do now, guys, is just the magazine well. I like to give that a good wipe. Inside the receiver. And also where the bolt is inserted as well. Just wiping any of the dark carbon off it. And then I like to lubricate it with some G96. Just give it a little bit of a wipe over. Don't remove all of it. I like to leave some on there, as I say, because it does lubricate. You can wipe it over the outside too there of the uh, receiver, no problem at all. It's certainly not going to hurt it. Even if you've got it on the wood, 
just doesn't hurt it. I've been using this stuff for years and just fantastic. Now we can put our bolt in. And you can really feel, I mean the Ruger 77 action is pretty, uh, pretty rugged in general, but it really just smooths things up G96 and you often hear me refer to it in my reviews. If I'm having a problem with a stiff uh, action, I always hit it with a bit of G96 and it seems to uh, improve it quite well. And then just on the outside of the, the firearm in general, just on the barrel here, just give it a wipe till you see that nice shine on it. You don't want to wipe all of it off because the idea behind this is obviously the firearm is going to go back in the safe so it's just going to lubricate and look after that metal. Look you don't have to but you can even give your scope a little bit of a wipe down with the G96 as you can see it just comes up real uh, nice doesn't it with the finish doesn't hurt it in any way shape or form. So as you can see guys we've got a pretty much a clean rifle haven't we so this is the way I've been doing it for years guys, it's never let me down and I've always looked after my firearms this way. Alright guys, we'll finish up the review, I hope you enjoyed it, so till next time, we'll catch you then.